Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got bases loaded lacquer, sunflower seeds, trade rumors, and simply olive. I'm going to water marble. I'm starting off with Baby Girl Lacquer's Glitter Be Gone as my base coat. And this is Brave's Diva. Now, base is loaded. Sunflower seeds. It's an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to use that as my base for the water marble. It's also going to be in the water marble. You guys just don't know how excited I am to be able to water marble today. So excited. It's been forever since I've done this and I love water marbling. There we go. So even though I didn't need it, I'm going to go ahead and do two coats, mostly because I wanted a swatch photo of this by itself. <laughs> I'm using IMN out the door for my top coat. I'm going to get it to dry down so we can do our playing. And so far, I'm liking it. I, I hadn't made a decision on, you know, for sure. So there is Sunflower Seeds by itself. I am using my decanted liquid latex from Amazon. And Bases Loaded Lacquers, Trade Rumors, as well as Simply Olive. And the, we, then we got the Sunflower Seeds again because I'm using that one in it too. I'm going to go ahead and start with my cup of water. This is just regular water out of my tap. It's been sitting in the room in a bottle, so it's room temperature, plain water. I'm going to drop drops of the polishes in one by one. I'm going to go all the way through all the colors twice, and then I'm going to finish with the Trade Rumors, the orange shade. Because, you know, that outer ring, I'm not going to get none of that in the design, so I wanted to make sure to have... You know, plenty of that in there. Today I'm just doing a eight petal flower design. And this is probably the first real design that I did and had any luck with. So I like to go back to it from time to time. And there we go. We got our, and I do dip down in the center when I'm done and on each one just to make the polish, you know, to make the design even and everything, no hole in the middle. I dip in and then I'm going to go in with a toothpick and clean up this excess off the t surface of the water. I do have a couple of bubbles. I'm going to pop those and then dip back in and I just got those up on the latex. <laughs> I didn't have to redo. I do run around the edge of it with a toothpick. Um, to break the seal of the nail polish just in case so I don't, you know, disturb my design on my nail. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to get this latex off. Now, I like to take the latex off as soon as I'm done with each finger because it's just, for me, it's easier that way. I do have one little bubble on the tip. Hopefully, it'll dry out. Now, the rest of this video, I'm showing you me doing the rest of the fingernails but I've sped it up one and a half times. So it looks like I'm Speedy Gonzales, but I did not go that fast. But I wanted to show y'all all of it. Well, besides my thumb, I wanted to show y'all all of it. This is um, what got me into nail art was water marble. It's what intrigued me and inspired me and so excited to be doing this today. So I draw from the outside in and with these polishes from either Braves Diva or Bases Loaded Lacquer are phenomenal for water marbling with. You can go pretty far out. It's It doesn't dry fast and it gives you plenty of time to draw in your design. With a lot of other nail polishes, I have to start from like two, three, sometimes even four lines in away from the edge of the cup because the polish starts drying and you can really mess up your design. But look, this, I mean, just fantastic. I run my toothpick around the edge of the cup after the first drop to get it to spread all the way to the edge. That way it's not spinning around. It kind of anchors it to the edge of the cup. That's just something I do. You don't have to do that. But if you have trouble with all the polishes kind of wiggling around in the cup and moving when you're trying to draw, it's because they need to be anchored to the side of the cup. So here we go. We're going to draw in another petal design. 
and I do wipe my toothpick off after each swipe just to get any blobs of polishes off and also to keep that toothpick tip sharp to draw through the lines really well. Now I got a little wonky with this one so I'm going to turn the cup and pick the part of the design I am going to use right there and dip in and then clean that up again. And I do have other water marble videos so if you really like this you might want to look back on my page and see if you can find them. They should be in the playlist. I do have a water marble playlist. Um, and those I might even give better tips. I don't know. It's been so long since I've done one of these on YouTube that uh, I don't know if I've explained everything very well. <laughs> I just, you know, I knew I was dying to do another water marble. And when I saw these new creams from Bases Loaded Lacquer, I was like, oh yeah, I knew what I was doing. Knew I was going to do a water marble with them. If you are having trouble water marbling, and I don't try to push products on people. Now, I do show a lot of products on my channel, and a lot of people do get interested just because of that. But if you're having trouble water marbling, you seriously need to try <clears throat> some bases loaded lacquer or Braves Diva polishes because her creams, I mean, I haven't ever tried to water marble with any of her creams where it didn't work. I've even water marbled with some of her stuff that maybe shouldn't have water marbled, but I made, made an attempt and was plenty happy with it. So after I got all the latex off of all the nails and all of them done, I'm going in with the cleanup brush and I've just got a minute bit to clean up. I mean, that latex covered it up really well. I didn't have to clean up hardly anything. And I am so happy with how these turned out. I am going to use the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. And the reason why was because on that one nail, I did have a polish bubble and I didn't want it to burst. So I used that. And now I'm going to top it with the Posh and make it look all glossy like it's under a sheet of glass. Mm. <clears throat> so in love with this manicure. Really hating that I used a peel off base coat. Let me just tell you. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.